Namaste, Dan Yavad. This is Kyle from We Tech Care of You. And um, today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to use the Connect SPO service command list with PowerShell. Now, this was a request I got on the channel. Uh, someone wanted to run some PowerShell scripts. They didn't know how to connect to the environment. And they asked to do a video on how to do the Connect SPO service command list with PowerShell. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got SharePoint Online Management Shell open here. I've got that run as administrator. And make sure you've got SharePoint Online Management Shell because that'll have the command list a part of it. Um, don't just use PowerShell. So with this, I'm going to straight away run, type in connect hyphen SPO service. And then that will then, as you can see, command the connect SPO service at the pipeline. And that will then ask you for a URL. So what we need to do here is we need to put a Microsoft 365 URL in. Um, and I've, I've just put this down here. So what you need to do is you'll have your tenant URL but you also need to add hyphen admin into that URL as well um, because we want to connect to that to the admin center of your, your URL of your tenant. Um, and that's how we gain the access. So I'm going to just type mine in here. So for us, for us, so mine is we hyphen admin dot sharepoint dot com. So I'll enter that. And then what that'll do is that'll then pop up the login box now. A lot of the time you can pass your username and password in as a parameter into the command loop. But if you do have multi-factor authentication switched on, it's better to do it this way because that way it will open up this window so you can log in. And that's when you can get past the two-factor authentication. Now I'm just going to put my credentials into here. Again, so you do need to be a global administrator of your tenant to run this as well. As you can see, I've got my multi-factor authentication set up, so I'll just get the text message for that. Verify that. And there you have it. There you can see. So now that's ran successfully. There was no errors. That started a new line. And now that means I can start running any commandlet, um, which there's plenty of Microsoft documentation for. I'll put the link in the description. But then you can you know, run any of your PowerShell commandlets and execute that into your SharePoint environment. Uh, I hope this video helps someone. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And take care.